Hi, in this video we're going to look at the nth term of a quadratic sequence and this is version 2. Um, I've got another, ver uh, another two videos, version 1 and version 3, uh, depending on which one your teachers taught you or which one you prefer, uh, but this is version 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a quadratic sequence. So a quadratic sequence is, uh, the nth term is in the form an squared plus bn plus c. Um, you probably have seen this before whenever you've looked at quadratic graphs, um, but it's similar, but it's an squared rather than ax squared and so on. Okay, so the quadratic sequence will be in that form. Now if we put, if we look at the first term, well n will be equal to 1, so 1 squared is 1 times a is a, b times 1 is b plus c, so the first term would be a plus b plus c. The second term uh, would be, well if you put 2 in, 2 squared is 4, so that would be 4a, 2 times b would be 2b plus c and so on. So this would be the first, the second, the third and the fourth term. Okay, uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the first difference. So like with um, normal arithmetic sequences, you know, you would see what has gone up in each time. So as you can see here, uh, uh, if we take the first term away from the second term, you would get, well, a from 4a would leave you 3a, and then 2b take away b would be plus b, and the c's would cancel out. The next one would be, if you take them away, 5a plus b, and the next one would be 7a plus b. Okay, and so that's the, what we call the first inferences. The first inferences are what you get whenever you take away the terms in the sequence. The second differences are what we get whenever we take away the differences of the terms in the sequence. Okay, so if we see what the difference is between the first two first inferences, well, as you can see, it goes up by 2a. So that would be in the second difference would be 2a. Because if you take away the third, uh, the third first difference, and the, uh, the second, sorry, if you take away the second first difference from the third first difference, again you would get two a. So no matter what, uh, you know which one you take away, you would always get two a for the second differences. Okay, so what we're now going to do is we're just going to have a look at uh, what the zero of term would be. Now, just sort of bear with me, okay, the zero of term of a sequence. I know you might think, well, what is it? Um, but it's just quite useful to work out what the A, the B, and the C are, okay, of a sequence. So as you notice here, it's gone 3A plus B, 5A plus B, 7A plus B. If we go back here, well, the second difference would be 2A again. So that means that this is going to be A plus B is going to be the first difference. And if we take that away from the, the first term, you'd just be left with C. So if you had C and you added A plus B, you would get the first term which would be A plus B plus C. So that means that the zero of term in the, in the sequence is equal to C. So that means that no matter what the numbers are in the sequence, the first term of the sequence would be A plus B plus C. The second differences are always equal to 2A and the zero of term is equal to C. So that means if we know the numbers, we can work out what the uh, A, the B, and the C are by using the zero of term, the first term, and the second differences. Okay? Now you're going to need to remember these. These won't be given to you. Let's have a look at a question. So here's a question that says, the sequence is 6, 9, 14, 21, 30. And it says, for the quadratic sequence above, work out the, uh, the next term. So let's have a look at the first differences. So the first differences... Well, as you can see, it goes up by 3, then it goes up by 5, goes up by 7, goes up by 9. So it got by 11 next, so it's going to be equal to 41. So the next sum of the sequence is 41. Next, work out the nth, uh, work out the nth term. So to find the nth term, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the second differences. So the second differences, well, that's what you get whenever you take away the first differences. So as you notice, it went 3, 5, 7. So it was going up by 2, 2, 2, and 2. So the differences are going up by 2 each time. So, um, and just before we carry on, what we're going to do is we know that this is equal to the first term. We're going to find the zero of term, okay, this term here. So if it's gone up by three, it's going to go up by one here. So that means that the, this term, the zero of term, is equal to five. Zero of term. Okay. Now, we know that the zero of term is equal to C. Okay, so we know this is going to be equal to C. So C is equal to five. We know that the first, uh, the the second differences are equal to two a. So we know that this is equal to two a. So that means that a is equal to one. So a is equal to one. So uh, we know that the nth term is a n squared plus b n plus c. Well, we've found our c, which is equal to five. We've found our a, which is equal to one. Let's write these down. A is equal to one. B we'll find in a second, and c is equal to five. Okay, and let's get our b. Okay, so the first term in the sequence is a plus b plus c. So this first term, this term here, 6, is equal to a plus b plus c. So a plus b 
plus C. So let's write that down. A plus B plus C is equal to six. Let's substitute in the numbers. So A is equal to one. We've still got B and plus C, which is five, and we get that's equal to six. So we've got here, if we simplify the left-hand side, B plus six is equal to six. One well, must mean that B is equal to zero. So that means that if we put these in the nth term, we're gonna get, well, one n squared or n squared, and then plus, well, no n, and then plus five. Okay, so because a is equal to one, b is equal to zero, so we're not gonna have any n terms, and then plus five on the end, and that's it. So the nth term is n squared plus five. And finally, it says find the nth term, oh, sorry, the tenth term. So the tenth term, well, like with arithmetic sequences, to find the tenth term, you just substitute 10 into the nth term. So instead of n squared plus five, we're gonna work at 10 squared plus five. 10 squared 100 plus five would be 105. So the tenth term in the sequence would be 105. Let's have a go at another sequence. Okay, another question. So the next quadratic sequence is one, three, nine, 19, 33. So this is work at the, ne uh, the next term. So it goes up by, let's change the color of pen. It goes up by two, goes up by six, 10, 14. Uh, so it's gone up by f the, let's actually work these out. So the first differences are two, six, 10, 14. The second differences is our four, four, four. So it's gonna be four again. So it's gonna go up by 18. So that means that that's gonna be 51. So the next term in the sequence is 51. The nth term. So again, let's see what we know. Well, we know this is equal to two a. We know that the first term in the sequence is a plus b plus c. And if we go back and find the zero of term, so let's see, it's gone up by four each time. So, uh, sorry, the difference has gone up by four each time. So it means the next, uh, the second difference here will be four. So if, we, if we've gone up by two and that's gone up by four, it means it's gonna have gone up by minus two. Gone up by minus two means this would have had to be three, the zero of term, if it existed, or, you know, like if you can just, you know, pretend it exists. And that means that that's gonna be equal to c. So remember the nth term is a n squared plus b n plus c. So a, because two a is equal to four, a is equal to two, so it's gonna be two n squared. Uh, we know it's gonna be plus three on the end because c is equal to three, a is equal to two, c is equal to three. And we know that the first term is equal to a plus b plus c. So a plus b plus c is equal to one. So that means that a, which is two, plus b, plus three is equal to one. That's five, take away from the one, b is gonna be equal to minus four. So that means it's gonna be minus four n. So it's two n squared minus four n plus three. And let's just test it out. For the first term in the sequence, just remember that's the zero of term. The first term in the sequence, which is, which is one, well, one squared is one times two, two, take away four minus two plus three is equal to one. It's good, that works. So the nth term is two n squared plus four, uh, my, sorry, two n squared minus four n plus three. Okay, and the last bit is to work out, it says, which term in the sequence is equal to 73? So like with arithmetic nth terms, we would put the nth term equal to the number and then solve that equation to find out what number in the sequence it is. So two n squared minus four n plus three equals 73. Take three off both, oh sorry, no, bring the 73 over to the left hand side, make it equal to zero. So two n squared minus four n minus 73 from both sides will leave you uh, minus 70 equals zero. Let's divide it all through by two. So um, n squared minus two n minus 35 equals zero. I mean, let's factorize and solve it. So when we factorize it, we're gonna get n minus seven and n plus five. So that means that n equals seven or n equals minus five. Now we can't have a minus fifth term in the sequence, so n will be equal to seven, so it'll be the seventh term. And that's it. So that's version two. Um, if you like that approach, or if you've seen that approach, fantastic. If you wanna see my preferred version, that's version one, or version three is another version to show you how to deal with quadratic sequences.